Ready, set, hop! All the way out. And once, go. Look up, look up, hop! Stay tight. Good. And bar. One, two. Kick back hard. Hi, my name is Richie Guyona, and you're here with uh, my trapeze school called Guyona's Trapeze Workshop in Woodland Hills. Uh, with my son, it's four generations that we have um, trapeze here. I started as a kid, maybe four or five years old, I started climbing up on the trapeze, just swinging and dropping into the net. And uh, my family had been doing it for, gosh, for many years already by that point. So it's just something I've always wanted to get into. And so throughout growing up, I would go and do performances with them and stuff at their different TV shows. And, and once I was out for the summer, I was flying with them anywhere they were, you know, because they, they traveled with the Greenland Brothers for almost 18 years. And throughout Europe and uh, Asia, and they were all over the place. So once I got out of high school, I went straight into the trapeze and did it with them full time. Well, the only reason I stopped performing is because I wanted to get into stunts. So I said, okay, before I get too old, I want to try to do stunts and, you know, before I get out of shape and all that kind of stuff. So in 1988, I moved to California with my son and um, we came out here and started doing stunts. And at the same time, I needed a job when I got out here and there, my friend Bob Yerkes was also in charge of Circus of the Stars. I don't know if you've seen that show before. So they needed more trainers, so I, of course I, they gave me a summer job for the next five years because they liked what we did and how we did it. So every summer we did the show, they would hire me back. So it was kind of like, okay, I'm still doing circus, you know, but I'm also getting my foot through the door on, for the stunts. Because I used to have a lot of stunt people come here and work out. And one of my friends from San Francisco who used to come down, he said, you know, why don't you just start organizing classes? you know, kind of like they did in San Francisco. And I said, okay, well, you know, let me think about it. And all of a sudden, it word, a mouth got around that, you know, Richie's doing classes. And all of a sudden, I'm doing classes, you know, all the time. And that was back, I think, in 96. I think around since 96, we've been doing this. Ready, set, go. Kick back, all the way out. Drop the hip. One, two, hold your set, back, up. Lined up. Okay. You doing the bar? Yeah. Ready. Set. Up. All the way out. And one, two, up, up, up. Good. Stay tight. Yeah. Drop the hip. Up. One. Press. Up. Late bar. Okay. Uh. That was better right up until the press. You waited for everything. Good job. I do like passing my knowledge on to others and you know either it's like my dad said you know either learn it right or don't do it at all you know and he said if you're gonna get on the trampoline over there it can kill you but and so make sure you know how to do it right and that was one thing you know I try to pass on to others is make sure they know how to do it right so they don't get hurt and they can actually have some fun with it. Um, uh, I would like to see the trapeze you know teaching the trapeze you know as long as possible you know as long as I can walk and pull the safety lines, I think I'm, I'll be there all the time. Um, I really like being out here with them, you know, I like teaching, like I said. And each time you get somebody new, it's another challenge. It's like they're, I'm flying through them, and I know what they're feeling because I've been there before. I know exactly what they're feeling. There's a freedom of flying through the air and being caught at the same time, because you know, at one point you're weightless, you're turning all kinds of flip, 
and then the last second, a quick second, you know, my brother would catch me. And then you're back in the, you know, and back to real life almost, because it kind of, you're spinning all over the place and then you're caught, and then you kind of wake up out of this little dream, because it happens so fast, but sometimes it happens so slow. If, you know, it's kind of weird, but it's really kind of neat. And I do, I still dream about it a lot. Yeah, no, I do miss it. Like I said, I do dream about it a lot. And, you know, sometimes I'll go up and take a couple swings, but I know I'm never going to be like I used to be. You know, I mean, that's a, that's a long time ago. But um, we all miss it. We, you know, I know I talk to my brothers, and, you know, they, they, they all miss it. You know, but they know that it's time to pass it on to the others. Stop to go around You never know which road to take One never knows which way goes down 